Hey, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this video, we're attempting to land at Mars. Let me just go ahead and switch to the full view and unpause. So this is the the Earth to Mars mission that I'm doing. Uh, like I said in my other parts of this series, um, this is kind of a take two because things did not go super well on my on my take one because my uh, my fuel planning. Um, was messed up. I was fumbling the controls when I took off from Cape Canaveral. I was fumbling the controls when I was trying to land at Mars. I had to use some fuel cheats to make sure that we even got to Olympus. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to do the whole thing over. And somehow I feel like I messed up my deorbit burn. I'm not sure what happened. But um, as a result, we arrived near Olympus at a much different time than I thought we would. And I think it's probably because my orbit was not circular. So when I did my deorbit burn, it just threw everything off. And so we're essentially, you know, trying to do this incredible turnabout in the atmosphere. And it is working. I mean, as you can see, you know, our orbit plane is changing and we're you know, slowly moving around in the direction of Olympus. Um, I think maybe the only thing I might be worried about now is I might overshoot Olympus. Uh, we'll see. I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing at the moment. Mom's and I almost feel like I should... Uh, let me try to get lined up with the base first, and then I'll worry about trying to dig deeper down into the atmosphere, throwing out the air brake and that kind of stuff. But I feel like it's going to be difficult to bleed off the velocity that I need to bleed off, given the amount of time that I'm going to have by the time I get turned around. I thought this turnaround would take longer. I guess what I could do to extend the amount of time that it's taking me to turn, you know, I could decrease my, my maneuver, essentially, and just take longer kind of like S turns, but really, really big S turns. But I think for now, I'm just going to still try to just get on track with Olympus and kind of see how, how things come together. But yeah, like right now you can see we're only 900 kilometers out. And as our plane changes, that that's going to get closer and closer, faster and faster. And we're still cruising at 2,300 meters a second, so we're moving fast. Um, but I, th I think what I'll do, as soon as the plane gets reasonably close to Olympus, I will th I'll turn on the APU, throw out the air brake, and try to eliminate some of that velocity. I just, I'm worried if I do it too soon, I'll, I'll stall out and... And then have to do a bunch of hover or something like that. We are arriving at Mars with a lot more fuel than we had the last time I did this. So that's a good thing. I just don't know if it's enough. All right. So our plane is getting somewhat on track. We're still 800 kilometers. Man, I really feel like I need to throw out the air brake. Is it too soon to do that? I'm not sure. Let's continue this maneuver. Again, you can see our orbital plane starting, you know, it's bending pretty quick, so um, we're going to be lined up with Olympus really soon now. And in fact, we can see our distance coming down here, which I really wasn't paying much attention to that number. I was looking at this one. So actually, we'll, we need to start planning to roll out pretty soon. Um, let's roll out now. Turn on the APU. On. Let's get rid of our elevator trim. Let's throw out our air brake. What is it? Control B. Okay, now we still... All right, let's actually... Let's put in some up trim because we do need to keep our altitude for now. All right, things are happening. We're 
moving along, off base distance coming down. Um, one thing I need to check, burn time using the retro engines, which currently I can't open. Um, Cause, oh boy, I'm getting, I'm getting there so fast. Um, let me get rid of this up trim. But I feel like I need to start slowing things down soon. I guess what we can do is we can let's let it let's let ourselves get lower into the atmosphere. So we can start um, you know breaking. But with this much velocity, I'm worried that I'm going to need like 200 kilometers or something like that to get rid of all of it. So, what would it be if I were using the full power of the main engines, which I won't be doing? It would be DV 1800. I would need 65 kilometers. All right, let's uh, take out that trim. So we're at 1716. I wonder if I can open the retro doors yet. How's my plasma trail looking? I don't have one, so... Is it safe to open the retro doors? Apparently it is. Okay, now we can switch engines. And we need 300 kilometers to get rid of 1800. Yikes. 1700. Oops. 1700, 274 kilometers. Okay. All right, a bit of up elevator trim. No, I think we're okay. All right, we're almost lined up with Olympus. Okay, we have to keep an eye on our distance and we'll keep inputting new data here. So we'll probably get to at least 1500, I would say. So we'll need 213 kilometers. Yikes. I don't know if we have enough fuel to burn off all that. Or, well, we do, but but then we'll have to hover. Start to level out a bit. All right, Olympus is 400 kilometers out. Let's take out that up trim. Now, I wonder if we have any mountains between us and Olympus. That, I don't know. All right, we're 380 out, so we're at 15, so we're probably going to get down to 1,400. So that's 186 kilometers, okay. Mach 7. Um, we can probably open the hover doors. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's put in some up trim. A bit more up trim. All right, our distance off base is a little bit more up trim. Got to really watch our altitude because if our vertical speed gets out of control, we'll slam into the ground before we have a chance to do anything about it. Off base distance coming down ever so slightly. All right, we're 295 out. We need 186. We're at 13, so let's update 1300 so we can get down to 160. Actually, we'll be, already be lower than that, 1200. Not so, 1200, six. we need 137 kilometers to break. So I'm just keeping an eye on this number, keeping an eye on this number, because I want to begin breaking, because I don't want to overshoot Olympus. So we're at 7 kilometers in altitude. Can probably take out some of that up. So 1,200, we're going we're gonna to get lower than that. So let's say 1,100. 
I'm only 115 kilometers to break. So Olympus is 220 out. We're at 1150. We need 115 kilometers to break. We're probably going to need to get lower than 1100 then. But probably not much lower, but let's update to 1050. So we need 105 kilometers to break. Put in a bit more up trim now. And at some point we're going to have to turn on the hover. So we're still getting closer to the base. We're at 183. We need 105 to break. 175. We need 105 kilometers to break. Full up elevator trim. We're at 166. Okay, we're lower than that number, so let's update. So maybe we'll be at 950. So we need 86 kilometers to break. And we're still getting on track to the base. Nose is coming up, vertical speed's coming up. All right, we're gonna be lower than that. So let's try, uh, let's go 900. So we need 77 kilometers to break using the full power of the retro engines. We're at 130. Okay, we're gonna be lower than that. We're at 123 kilometers out, let's say 850. So we need 69 kilometers to break using the full power of the retro engines. We're going to be lower than that number, so let's try 800. We need 61 kilometers to break using full power of the retro engines. I can see Olympus over there. Just this little white glimmer. And we're probably going to be lower than that number. Let's go DV, let's go 750. We need 53 kilometers to break using the full power of the retro engines. Yeah, I think we maybe need to roll a bit. Okay, we are at 82. We need 53 kilometers to break. Probably, yeah, we're gonna be lower than that. So let's go 725. We need 50 kilometers to break. We're probably going to, that's probably going to be where things line up. We're at 67 kilometers out. Let's take out some of this roll. 63 kilometers out. We need 50 kilometers. Let's start putting in a bit of hover. We're f all right. We're gonna have to burn full power of the retro engines now. And I'm gonna do hold altitude because. Uh, all right, let's go level horizon. Let's take out the trim. And let's do hold altitude because I don't want to have to think about it. Let's uh, oops, let's go this way. So if I offset the vessel a bit in that direction, it gets me moving closer to the base. Three thousand on our fuel. And I did not set up my comm nav. All right, we're going to go down to 0 0.1. We're going to select our comm nav. We're going to select landing pad one because the other stuff doesn't matter. We want uh, base. We want Olympus. What a dumb oversight. Uh, 129.70. Let's go ahead and put in the full range also. So 114.20. What a terrible oversight on my part. Pad one's free, 129.70, 129.70, 1, 29, and that's that. So now we'll select a VOR V2L on the side, and we're within range of the pad, so we'll select that one. Now we'll go back to real time. What a horrible, horrible oversight, <laughs> but uh, we're, I think we're okay. All right, we're at 2.8 on the fuel, so I think we might actually accomplish this. I 
how is our horizontal speed coming along? We're at 260, 17 kilometers out. I think we can actually take out some of that. So I think we're maybe slowing down a bit too much too soon. Let's do a bit more braking. We're at 2.6 on fuel. All right, let's go forward a little bit more before we break. All right, uh, this is no longer useful. Right, let's break. Put down our landing gear. Break a bit more. I think we're going to make it. All right, now I would like to. That's the wrong direction. So if I rotate off center in this direction and then burn, it lines me up to the landing pad. All right, now I can now I can rotate towards the landing pad. And now we're more or less doing a moon landing. There's nothing really too different here from a moon landing other than fuel concern. Probably turn off the APU. All right, so we're 3.7 from the center of the pad. Um, can probably let's not turn off auto altitude to hold. Okay, so I feel like our horizontal speed is still okay, but when we break three kilometers, we'll slow down just a little bit more. Yeah, we have good control over our horizontal speed now. Let's just take a look outside for fun. All right, so, all right, yeah, we want to hold on to this horizontal speed till we get close to the pad because, um, and let's go ahead and turn off hover hold just so we can start descending slowly. That'll burn a little bit less fuel. Uh, there's somebody that watches my videos that's been telling me about this MFD called Pursuit MFD, which I haven't used. But from what I understand, I guess it'll help you out with landings. Um, but I'll have to look into that at some point. I don't think I've ever used that MFD, so I'm not familiar with it at all. So now I am just uh, watching my vertical speed, so it's pretty well under control. I'm watching my distance to the pad. And I'm just taking out some some of my horizontal speed here and there. Translation. It looks like we could put in a bit of translation in that direction. So we're 700 meters from the middle of the pad. Rotation. Okay, we're lined up. We're 500 meters from the middle of the pad. I think we're going to be fine. We're, we're using a lot of fuel here, obviously, but. Um, the fact that we have the fuel to burn is a good thing. So 300 meters out from the middle of the pad. So 250. We already have the landing gear down. All right, getting really close to the being straight over the pad now. Okay, 40 meters, 30, 20, 20 meters. Translation. Make sure we have translation. 18, Put in a bit more hover. Okay, so panicked and hit too much on the retro there. Okay, so once we get the uh, the landing pad pretty well dialed in and it mostly is again you don't have to be zero or one you know where we're at right now is fine so in fact I'm going to start just kind of zeroing out the velocities 
so I can shift my focus. All right. Now, horizontal speed. So let's take out our hover for now. You are clear. I don't have a good sense for how much hover I need for the for the Mars though, and since I don't want to mess up this flight, I'm going to go ahead and use the auto land because because we have that feature in this vessel. Climb. All right, I'm starting to drift. Rotation. Translation. Okay. Um, since we have the auto land, so we'll say auto land mode. Engage auto land. And now we can just have all of our attention on making sure we're reasonably close to the middle of the pad. With gas to spare this time. I like it. Because last time I think we ran out of get I think we ran out of fuel when we were at like eight meters or uh, six. Please. Alright, there we are. Okay, yay, we made it. Um that was that was fun. That was exciting. Just looking at my upper screen, something looks weird about my video recording thing, but it's fine. Alright, let's uh bring back in the air brake. Let's Turn on external cooling. Using external O2. And let's check our. External cooling online. Let's see how we did it with resources. So we had seven days of locks left. We can turn off the APU now. We have uh, quite a bit of APU. I was really worried we were going to run out of APU. We have a lot of RCS. We really didn't use that much. And I was actually thinking on the last mission where I ran out of gas, like three meters or two meters above the pad, if I had thought to do a cross feed, we would have made it the rest of the way down. Granted, we still had to have that fuel cheat, but we wouldn't have dropped those last couple meters. Um, let's see here. So let's bring up burn time calculator and see how much DV we have left. And when we include RCS, we have um, two thousand about two thousand meters a second left worth of delta v so that's that actually feels like a pretty decent surplus which is uh, pretty surprising to me because i thought you know i was starting to think that you couldn't do it i was starting to think there was no way to make this mission happen without using a vertical launcher or stopping somewhere and refueling first but we made it and that was cool i really really enjoyed that um i do wish a couple of things had gone differently. Uh, those couple of atmospheric braking maneuvers that didn't work out. But again, you know, like I said, you know, we're just pretending that those were simulations that they did and nobody died in that process. But uh, yeah, that's a legit flight um, for the most part. I, th I feel like uh, it was a bit weird there with the deorbit burn and how we had to, um, you know, do that large turnaround. But other than that, 
um, other than that, I feel like this went really well. Uh, there's a lot of room for improvement, obviously. I'm still clumsy on the controls, and I'm still, you know, making a few mistakes here and there, but I feel way, way more accomplished now than I did when I made my first video. Um, I think it's been 10 days or maybe two weeks by now. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment down below. Let me know you made it all the way to the end. And I will see you in the next video, if there is one.